Well, hello there, everyone. Gameplay Vids 24/7 here. Welcome back to my Aquilinox gameplay walkthrough series for the PC. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here on Aquilinox. I thought I was finished with this game, so I created a crazy as area down here. Uh, but no, we are not finished with Aquilinox yet. The developer Thin Matrix, who I have to say is an awesome guy, I have had the pleasure of speaking to him. He actually commented on my YouTube videos, and I replied, and we had a conversation. So he seems like a really nice guy. He loves the series, which I absolutely am so happy about. And yeah, I mean, he's released an update, guys, that brings camels into the game. Just as I finished my series for now, the next couple of days later, he releases an update that rips me back into a Aquilinox, dude. So today, we're going to have the pleasure of unlocking some coral and some camels. So yeah, what do we need for the camels now? Looks like we need to, or we can evolve a camel from a deer, but we need to have a diet of blueberry bush, a size trait of 1.20, and a lodge. So we know the lodges are down here near the riverbank, right? Because we have our beaver area. So the real question that I have now is that will the deers enjoy this area down here? Let's find out together. Like species is zero of two. What do you like, Mr. Deer? Oh, and by the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember, of course, to hit that like and subscribe button so I know that you want me to make more. Uh, hit the bell icon if you haven't yet, of course. And yeah, leave a, com uh, leave a comment telling me what you thought of today's episode and what you think of the update, okay? Now, what have we got here? Suitable biomes, barren land, grassland, woodland, and it eats honey and fruit bushes. So it likes the, the sycamore tree, is it? The sycamore tree? I can never pronounce these things, and a lot of people in the comments are telling me how to say it, but I just forget the next day. It's great, guys. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, where's the bush? Let's go to bushes. So we just need... Hmm. I want to throw down a blueberry bush straight away, and it looks like this is the environment to do it in, so that's fantastic. We're just going to throw down the blueberry bushes straight away there, guys. If you don't know, in the last episode, we actually went about and unlocked every single uh, species in the entire game. So now... I'm back to 98% because of the new update. So we've got to do something about that. Apparently spacebar also slows down time. Oh wow, it does too. That looks super cool. Hang on a second guys, look at this. Can you see how everything's really slow? Where we can probably see this in effect the most would be where the flying species are. So right about here. Yep, I knew it, look at that. Slow motion. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, that's worked out really, really well. Um, great job with that developer, Thin Matrix. Now, I'm just going to have a look. What else can we do? So, we have the blueberry bushes down. Now, we need some bees around here. But to get bees, we need flowers, which I'm fairly sure we actually do have at this point. So, we should be okay in that area, at least. Let's go small plants, flowers. The tulip should do fine down here. We'll put down the tulip. It's made it a little bit of a lush area, but that's okay. So, let's just fast forward a bit here, just so everything grows up. Just waiting for everything to grow here, guys. Tulips are already growing up. No, well, that's wild mint. So I'm waiting for the tulips to grow. Let's just fast forward. There's the bush growing up there. That's the blueberry bush. That's fine. Then we'll put down some bees. Hopefully the bees enjoy this area. I mean, why the hell would they not? There we go. Uh, so favorite biome is 0% though, but suitable biomes, 100%. So they're okay here. They'll survive. We'll throw down a whole bunch of bees and hopefully they create a hive where I need it to be. They've put it about here. I mean, that's, I'm hoping that's a good enough distance to put down the deer so I can evolve them. Like species is one of two because I don't think I have that tree. So we need that tree, guys. Uh, let's go. Lives in biome. I'm in the wrong section. I was thinking, why can't I find the tree? Lives in biome. No, we we'll on just trees in general. There it is. This is not a good biome for the area though, apparently. What biome do you like, tree? Let's find out together here. This is gonna be a bit interesting. You like woodland, you cheeky, cheeky game. So it likes the woodland, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have woodland in this area, so what we're gonna to have to do is probably actually uh, start spreading it in this one like specific area, dude. I kid you not. Spreads woodland, I can put down oregano. Doesn't like this area though, buttercup? Okay, buttercup will do. We're just gonna contaminate this area and make it woodland. Done, great. Okay, so. There we go, we got it. That's what we need to do, that's all we need to do. That's great. 
So that's done. Let's fast forward. Hopefully I'm not killing off any population that's around here. I really hope not. I can see things rising and falling very fast, so it's a bit scary. But that's okay. We throw down the deer. The deer is now at 100% environment. And the camel. We need to get the size trait of the deer to 1.2. And it needs to eat the blueberry bush. So that's... That's, that's achievable. Let's do that now. I should better increase a little bit more. There we go. So I don't want to have these minor ones around. We don't care about the minor deer. We only want the main king deer here. That's going to spread our genes that we need. So hopefully that will multiply soon. I'm fast forwarding here. I mean, fingers crossed that should really multiply quite quickly. Like, yeah, quickly. I'm just watching. Come on, game. Do not let me down. We got some fat blueberry bushes here, by the way. Look at the size of these boys. They haven't even really been modified at all either. So this poor deer is still on his own right now. He hasn't multiplied just yet. From what I saw, the beavers just attacked each other then or something. That was weird. One highlighted red. Um, why? Aha. I'm spectating disease resistance, right? And I'm looking at the size and it's saying 1.28. But then on the deer itself, it said 1.0. Silly me. There's our breed, guys. It's just popped through then. Awesome stuff. Let's genetically breed a camel right now. Done. So that took me six minutes in total there. And that's because I've 100% completed the game, of course. So what you guys are going to see is, like, maybe the first camel footage on YouTube if uh, Thin Matrix hasn't done it himself. I'm not too sure if he has or not. But either way, we're just breeding that camel right now. We have three deer. Why did that bee just attack the deer? I could swear to God, dude, that someone's attacking someone here. I reckon it's the bees. Is it the... I reckon it's the bees, man. The organism carrying the evolution process for camel has died. Ooh. Okay. Go on, little deer. Yeah, the deer's almost done. There's a piece of meat on the floor. It's now disappeared, though. That was interesting. Where's my camel? Come on. Here, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There's the camel, ladies and gentlemen. Let's slow down time. Look at this little beauty. All right, let's move you, buddy. Where should we put him? Or her. Right in the desert area, I suspect. Surely it'll go fine here. Come on, game. Let's see, you ready? Yep, Maggie Moo. Maggie Moo the camel, guys. Awesome. So we have anger, 100%. Okay, so apparently the camels can spit if they want, right? Um, I want to make its anger more. Let's get 50% more angry so it starts spitting on everyone. And we want them to be king camels. So we'll make them 25% larger as well. Now, ideally, that's going to multiply sooner or later here. It's in the environment it likes, which is good. I just want to see it spit on someone. It's quite large already. We only just put it down, really. What's the growth on it? Does it have growth? 56%. It's generating 200 uh, DP per minute for me, by the way. So if we get like a pack of camels, we could potentially generate quite a bit of DP per minute. All right, so it's a big boy now on his own. Come on, start multiplying. Don't let me down. A bit lonely right now. It's 10, 10 hours old and I already want it to multiply, by the way, guys. Just saying. A little bit impatient. There it is. All right. Oh, it's spitting. It is spitting. Did you guys see that just then? I watched that. You can't hide from me, game. It doesn't like the hairs, I don't think. Oh, I wish the camera could go down more. There we go. I'm trying to get that nice snapshot view. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look, everyone, look. There's a spit. Spitting camels. You're an angry camel, aren't you, buddy? What about your little baby? That baby's revved up at 150% anger, it should be. If I am correct. 154% anger this freaking camel is right now. And I can make it even more angrier. 7 million DP, though, to give it 200% anger. So we're breeding some very, very angry camels right now. Gonna wait until that one's growing 100%. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, because I really want that to start multiplying as well. I reckon they'll probably stay at two for a while, maybe. I love it how it falls. Oh, hang on. 
There's another one. Oh, <laughs> awesome. All right, so let's uh, turn off spectate anger. Look at that view. Nice, family of camels there, guys. Great stuff. That's going pretty well. We have three camels. They're all following each other around right now. They're spitting on everything here as well. They are not happy, are they? Oh, it's hit the bunny directly. It's actually damaged the bunny, apparently. It did highlight red, so I don't know if that actually hurt it or not. I hope the camels don't start killing the desert hares. That would be uh, an unfortunate consequence of turning up their anger quite a bit. They're spitting non-stop, though. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love it how in this game you can actually increase the bounce power of species as well. It's pretty good. Oh, they're spitting at each other. What? They're actually spitting at each other. Okay. So yeah, the camels are doing pretty well. What about the coral? I'm having too much fun with the bloody camels. Okay. Um, so, greater than 30% tropical, nearby species shell. Needs a clownfish, cyan. Clownfish should be down here. There's a clownfish there. Do we want a, we want a healthy specimen? That's a good enough one. The cyan. Okay. We need a couple of them if we can. That fish is fully grown. That's good. Done. I'm going to try and push this here if I can. This is tropical still, isn't it? Yes, it is. 50%. Where are the shells, though? Lives in biome. Tropical. I don't know where the hell the shells are. Where can, there it is. Shell. Cool. We have shells here, guys. Nice. The shells can pretty much go everywhere, really, when it comes down to it. I'm looking for that blue one. Still no blue one just yet that I can see. It's a bit hard to actually see them when they're under the water, of course, so just gonna keep an eye out. That's what I'm thinking here, anyway. Is that one there? Yes, it is. We got one. We actually got one then. Okay. So. Rolls from the tropical seaweed. Lit spreads. No, we want lives in tropical. Tropical seaweed. There we go. Evolve coral. Done. That's 290 there, guys. Pretty straightforward, thankfully. It's good for me. Just fast forwarding here as much as we can. At least that's worked out for us, dude. That's pretty good. Done. Successfully evolved the coral. So where can that go now? Just down here, I guess, surely. Yep, it lives down there, the coral. It likes being really close to the surface there, or like the, the riverbed area. Is that what you call it? Yeah, the riverbed. Nice, so we have a thriving uh, seawater population there, guys. Hopefully one day uh, Thin Matrix brings in some new... Uh, fish. That'd be pretty cool. But either way, I think we're done. That's it. We've done everything already. No, 99%. Why is my progress in 99? What the hell? Oh, there must be a... There's a bloody task. Oh, Thin Matrix. You got me there. Animals here. 7 of 25. The camels. So it's like target practice, pretty much. Okay. I know how to fix this real quick. You ready for this, everyone? Lives in biome. Desert. Desert hair. We got a whole swarm of desert hairs now here. Just watch them all little, like little ants hopping around. They'll grow, don't worry. They'll get bigger. I just realized we have four camels now roaming around. They've definitely upgraded a bit. Cool stuff. I could pretty much put down some more camels if I wanted to. I don't think there's any need to put down more camels though. That's a nice photo. I want to try and get a really nice close-up one. Like this. With the rabbits in the photo as well. That's good. 
Keep hopping. Keep hopping. Good. Hopefully they're all spitting out things now. 8 of 25. We need to complete this once. So we're on 8 of 25 right now, guys. We need the camels. I need more camels then, technically. Don't worry, we'll, we'll make them spit. We just put down a huge amount of camels there. It's costing me quite a bit of DP as well. Considerable amount, jeez. I was on 4 million, now I'm up to 3.4. That's right, once these camels grow, we'll be okay. Looks like the parents died out. Something happened to the uh, parents. It's not overpopulation, I hope. If it's overpopulation, that's definitely a problem. Are they grown up yet, these camels? I think they are. Yeah, they're grown up now. Cool. That's a nice photo. Look at the rabbits and stuff everywhere. I really like this game because you can take heaps of foes as well. Well, when you're recording, of course. I don't know if there's a screenshot button yet in the game, but either way. Nice. I really like the slowdown feature, dude. It's cool. What are we up to now on the task? 10 of 25. It's only on 10 of 25 right now. We need the camels to keep spitting. Obviously, we can make it more angry, of course, but yeah. I thought it would have been much more faster to get him to spit. But I guess you have to increase the angriness meter. So if I do dead it down here. No requirement. Spreads biome. Desert. Just here, maybe. Made that very heavy desert area. Biome be the pear. Small cactus. Pretty sure the small cactus likes um, the bigger one. Yeah, it does too, doesn't it? Or is it like rocks? It likes rocks and stones. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Down some more camels here. Down some desert hairs as well. Then we have another desert area here, guys. Let's fast forward, watch them grow. Different color variations there, pretty cool. Now we're down to two million dollars. Interesting. They're not spitting just yet, I don't think. They better spit soon though, I'll be pissed. What are we on now? 19 of 25, there you have it everyone. It was on 10 just a moment ago. That's so definitely done something creating a whole new area for him. Good. That makes me happy at least. The 20 now. Good. It's going to get to the point where I don't have enough money to actually just instantly do these missions. Which is a bit scary because I want the money obviously. Um, light species one of two. What are you missing down here again? Each prickly pear, suitable biome. That task is complete, by the way. Barren land, desert, desert trees, cacti. Likes desert trees. Put down some desert trees there. Put down a whole bunch of camels near the water. I just want to get a nice snapshot of them. Hopefully overpopulation doesn't kill the whole lot. Get rid of this. A nice clear shot of these camels, guys, near the water. Beautiful DP moment. I don't mean diversity points. I mean beautiful thumbnail moment. <laughs> So plays all the camels down, and none of them are around the water hole, like I wanted them to be. That's just great. <laughs> that is just fantastic. I swear to god these camels are killing each other by spitting on each other. I'm not even joking right now. And that is a bit concerning to me. 
I'm a, I swear they're killing each other. In Matrix, what's the damage on this spit? Just a bit curious. I'm very, very curious. Oh, uh, well, that wraps it up, I reckon. We've done it all. Task completed. Claim reward. 50,000 DP. We get 50,000 DP if the camels spit on each other. Nice. That should be easily achievable, right? Well, well, either way, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you all did enjoy. Uh, that's it for Equilinox for now. I'm sure we'll be back sooner or later. Um, but yeah, stay in touch, guys. Subscribe, like, watch my other content as well. Help me grow. And yeah, we'll be here next time as well when the next update comes. Catch you around, guys. See you later.